Hello, we're Andy, the maniacal cinephile, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Ah, St. Patrick, the man who drove the leprechauns out of Ireland. He also discovered the potato. That's not... whatever. So today we're sharing our thoughts on 1993's Leprechaun. Leprechaun is a horror comedy directed and written by Mark Jones, who started his career writing for Scooby-Doo, Yogi Bear, and The A-Team. He got the inspiration after seeing a Lucky Charms commercial and the creature feature, Critters. The Leprechaun is played by Star Wars and Harry Potter veteran, Warwick Davis. Oh, why did I think it was Wayne? Garth, I'm the Leprechaun! Cool it, okay. Warwick Davis, who was in a dry spell after playing the titular character in Willow, liked the script and was excited to play a despicable villain. A character despised almost as much as the Ewoks. George Lucas actually received a special thanks credit because Warwick Davis was under contract to him, and he gave Davis permission to appear in the movie. Wow. Lucas had a side hustle, renting out little people. Leprechaun is most notable as the film debut of Jennifer Aniston's original Nose. Although she was an uncredited dancer somewhere in the background of 1988's Mac and Me. So without further ado, we got our green on, and hopefully the luck of the Irish on our side as we analyze Leprechaun. We open with the Leprechaun making threats and creaming himself. Ah, try as they will, and try as they might. Who steals we go, don't live through the night. From the very beginning, this green mother be spitting. From the Emerald Isle to your place in the hood, I'm the man of green, come to do no good. In 1983, Dan O'Grady returns home to North Dakota from his mother's funeral in Ireland. Hang on, I just have to check my notes real quick. Last name O'Grady, drunk off his ass? Yep, he's Irish. What's he going to do? Not me mother's ashes. Oh, shite! It is me mother's ashes! We learned that O'Grady was able to steal a leprechaun's pot of... Gold! Meow. I yell a drunken fool. And a storyteller. Ah, uh, she's reciting her wedding vows. Dan? Dan, is that you? <laughs> Apparently Dan sounds like a wee girl. I can't breathe. Please open the suitcase. I'm gonna suffocate. Oof. His wife is really gonna rip into him now. I, Daniel O'Grady, child trafficking. I want me gold now! <laughs> All right, now tell him where it is. O'Grady then returns home after hiding the gold. Did you hide it somewhere near the house? You know Danny Boy is drunk when he thinks his wife has never looked hotter. How did you find me? The wee people have their magical ways. He looked them up in the phone book. O'Grady uses a four-leaf clover to suppress the leprechaun's powers. Get it away! Put it away! That, or little O'Grady is poking out! You, you, you killed my wife. Hello, Dan. I'm okay. I just got a little kink in my neck. Eh, still better than Jeff Dunham. In the basement, Dan shoots the weakened leprechaun and traps him inside a crate with the clover. But before he can burn him, Dan suffers a stroke. And not a stroke of luck. Burn in hell, you little green bastard! What evil says, whenever I try to watch Gumby... Get comfy, little fella. That crate is your new home. But to him, I'm sure that crate feels like a mansion. 
Ten years later, J.D. Redding and his teenage valley girl daughter Tori rent the O'Grady farmhouse for the summer. There's no swimming pool, there's no shopping malls, there's no cable. There's no Ross or Monica. This is a great house. I got a great buy on it. It's cursed by a garden gnome or something? I wasn't really paying attention. <gasps> Dad, do you see that spider? It's huge. They could kill us. Or give you superpowers. We're then introduced to three guys that paint. There's Nathan Murphy, played by not Kevin Bacon. There's also his 10-year-old brother, Alex, and their dim-witted friend, Ozzy, who was always making up stories. Ozzy, I thought you weren't going to tell any more stories. And no more lies, okay? Aha! So that's who's behind QAnon. <sighs> Boy, I can go for a beer right now. You know what? Me too. While cleaning up, Ozzy is drawn to the basement. Who's in there? It sounds exactly like Mr. O'Grady. Wow. What neat junk. When I go to small downtown stores and don't buy anything. Ozzy brushes the old four-leaf clover off the crate, freeing the leprechaun. <laughs> Poor little potato bug. I'm starved. I haven't eaten in ten years. Are you trying to lose weight? Try Crate! We'll nail your fat ass in for ten years! You'll be so skinny, you'll eat bugs for protein! 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 Order Crate today, and we'll give you a second crate for free. What are you? What do I look like, me lad? See that? The buckles on me shoes? A pilgrim? Have you seen a crock of gold lying around? Tell me, or I'll bite your ear off and I'll make a boot out of it. Things employees have said to me at the shoe carnival. Oh. Oh. You only got away because me powers are weak. Ooh, I hope this is a story about the leprechaun not needing his gold because he had the power all along. The others aren't convinced that Ozzy saw a leprechaun, but check anyway. Okay, just in case. Nathan, I don't think that stick's gonna be big enough. By the looks of it, he was already beaten by a much larger ugly stick. But of course, they find no leprechaun. <laughs> it's only a rat. It's just a rat. Oddly enough, that rat also put a death curse on the place. Ozzy then spots a rainbow and believes it's a sign. Leprechauns and rainbows. Ozzy, you're embarrassing me. And that kid was in Mr. Nanny. So Ozzy and Alex follow the end of the rainbow to an old truck where a bag of 100 gold coins then magically appears and Ozzy sees if it's real gold. You just bought on it. I seen it in a movie. Ugh. In the movie, an idiot swallows a gold coin, and a leprechaun has to cut it out of his stomach. <laughs> it was a good one. What's Ozzy gonna take next? Pee-wee's bike? Alex plans on hiding the gold in the old well, and keeping it for themselves, hoping to get Ozzy a surgery to fix his brain. That way people won't make fun of you. They make fun of me? Yeah, I don't think a hundred coins is gonna cover it. Back at the farm, the leprechaun gets a little frisky. Oh my god. Oh. I thought that was you rubbing my leg. You let me? Dude, she's been flirting with you all morning. Quit huffing the paint. It's probably just an old possum, honey. No. Okay, I know what it feels like when a man caresses my leg. You do? Yeah, Dad. She comes from a broken home. <laughs> it was a cat. Searching for the pussy, her father probes a sketchy hole. Which is how he became a father. Ah! What? Oh, my father. Pressure on it. Oh, my baby. Ooh, hiding in trees could be my new pastime. Come on! Someone stick their hand in here! I mean... Meow. They rush Dad to the hospital, momentarily held up by the distributor cap. Uh-oh, Andy. Is the movie doing that shadow thing? Yeah, it's called foreshadowing, little buddy. You're actually learning. And his brain overloaded.
The leprechaun then follows them on a tricycle. <laughs> Man, I wish I could ever be that happy. While in town, Alex and Ozzy visit a pawn shop to see if the gold is pure. I've never seen a coin like this. The symbols, incredibly strange markings. What's it worth? But there's historical value. It could be priceless. Dang, it's not worth anything. Priceless and worthless are two d never mind. Holding the gold coin overnight paints a target on the shop owner. I want me gold coin! Ah! Me coin! Ah! Bad shop owner! Bad shop owner! <laughs> it's bittersweet for the shop owner because humiliation is his kink. Oh yeah, say it again! Bad shop owner! <laughs> Still without his powers, the leprechaun has to get creative. This old leprechaun, he played one, he played pogo on his lap. In small town North Dakota, the second leading cause of death is the pogo stick. In North Dakota? And here I thought it'd be the wood chipper! Always punishing a thief, the leprechaun steals the wheels from a bandit raccoon. I'm a wee green guy who's new to town. Show me what you can do when you get down. The leprechaun then gets pulled over for reaching a top speed of seven. Say, aren't we a little young to be out this late? No, I'm 600 years old. And his fake ID has him at seven foot three. <laughs> <laughs> We interrupt this program to bring you the Evil Dead. The wounded officer is then chased into the woods. Get away from me, you little creep! <laughs> what I heard whenever I tried to hug Mother. Speaking of Mother, Happy St. Patrick's Day! You know what? I... You... Well, that's a record. It's not even 10 a.m. and she's blacked out! <laughs> <laughs> Was fun. <laughs> and to think he was one day away from getting fired. The leprechaun returns to the farmhouse and does a wee, B and E. With the power of step stool, he searches for his gold. <laughs> Ouch! And that's coming from a guy who eats bugs! General Mills gave them permission to use Lucky Charms, but revoked their permission after seeing the final film, so the filmmakers had to reshoot the scene with a spoof brand. <laughs> it is startling! How sexy he is! Unable to find his gold, the leprechaun's OCD kicks in and he shines every shoe he finds. Those heels are really gonna look nice on him. After leaving her dad at the hospital, Tori and the boys come back to a mess. Uh oh, I think something got in here. No shit, Sherlock. Alex is so mean when he drinks. Well, it could have been a bear. They sometimes come down from the hills looking for food. Ah, great. Now two creatures looking for pots of gold. Do you think you could kill a leprechaun? Ozzy, you can kill anything. You just gotta know how to do it. Where are the boy's parents? Nathan hears a noise and checks outside, where he is caught in a bear trap. Oh, 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 my leg! Maybe there really is a bear. Thankfully, there's a doctor in the house. Looks like you hurt. Oh. Let's play surgeon. No. no. Me, after playing a couple hours of surgeon simulator. Sadly, Ozzy's call for help goes unheard. The, the leprechaun is attacking. Army, Navy, guns, Marines. What, what was it last week? No, no, it was Bigfoot. They can laugh now, but five campers are dead. Apparently, one of the leprechaun's powers is to randomly look taller from behind. <laughs> After finding a shotgun in the farmhouse, they blast away. Getting shot six times did give him street cred as a rapper. I'm so bad, I'm good. 
They attempt to flee, but in a payoff from earlier, the truck won't start. Only this time, there's a lep under the hood, come to do no good. Well, there's your problem right there. You see how your leprechaun still has a British accent? Now I can fix it, but it'll cost you a hundred shillings. They roll up the windows like the lep is a beggar asking for change. But like a tiny Connor McGregor, he breaks the windshield and bites Ozzy. The biting would be reversed if it were this Ozzy. A bit late, but earlier, he did ask for a light. You got a light for an old leprechaun's pipe? My ear! He got my ear! If this were a John Wayne Gacy prequel, I'd understand why he started burying young boys in his crawl space. I won't spend a day in jail. <laughs> The leprechaun then quickly whips together a new whip, ready to tear it up on the Rainbow Road. <laughs> this is when all the physics professors walked out of the theater. Give it back to a nice little harmless leprechaun. Harmless? Maybe he meant to say armless. <laughs> His attitude. Remember, it's Leprechaun, not Leprechant. Ozzy finally spills the beans that he and Alex found the gold. Well, what about the gold in the old rusty car? Am I, am I Kevin Bacon yet? We're gonna save it to get Ozzy in operation to fix his brain. You can't fix Ozzy's brain. First, Ozzy would need a brain. Tori recovers the bag from the well and gives it to the Leprechaun. The reaction I get on my blind dates. Ah, the powers are returning. Me, when I collect my paycheck. However, while counting his gold, the leprechaun discovers the count is off. A missing coin. No one takes a leprechaun's gold. Oh, then explain the other seven movies. Pretending to be a snack, the leprechaun does attack. Quick, look it now, kids. <laughs> I bet it smells like tater tots. Man, I'd pay good money to see him in a cook-off against Gordon Ramsay. In the kitchen, after playing a weird game of whack-a-gnome. <laughs> ah! Ooh, not his bacon bits. The leprechaun terrorizes them even more. Oh, oh, oh. I'm right here. And I ain't no Santa Claus! Wasn't he just holding a big red sack? <laughs> Although Deep Roy was his stunt double, Warwick did a lot of his own stunts. Like when he climbed that bookcase, Mission Impossible style. Is the movie silly? Yes. Do I love it? Does a leprechaun skateboard? <laughs> Tony Hawk, meet Tiny Hawk. Hello, hello, help us please. Where's the rest of me go? <laughs> Another damn debt collector. Problems? Do you need a hand? What? No, I'm your boyfriend now, Tori? <laughs> Ozzy then remembers Mr. O'Grady, who was taken to a nursing home. Needing to see O'Grady, the boys buy Tori some time by throwing dirty shoes at the leprechaun. This is the same way women get past Quentin Tarantino. Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. See ya, suckers! I'm driving back to California! Proof that a fence will not stop a foreigner. Tori makes it to the home, where she easily sneaks past security. 
Ugh, I just had a nightmare that Rachel ended up with Joey. However, when she finds O'Grady to learn how to kill the leprechaun, she's in for a surprise. There's only one way, one way to kill a leprechaun, but I'm not going to tell you. Fine, I'll let you caress my leg. I'll never tell you. The leprechaun then chases Tori to an elevator. If he's after gold, he should join the wheelchair Olympics. O'Grady's body is thrown down the shaft, and before he dies, O'Grady tells Tori that the only way to kill the leprechaun is with a four-leaf clover. You gotta put it on his body. You have to touch him. You have to squeeze his nipples. With O'Grady dead, Tori returns to the farmhouse and searches for a clover until she is attacked by the leprechaun. <laughs> Little girls shouldn't look for four-leaf clovers. Instead, they should grow up to be gold diggers. That's right, get to work. Once again, Tori is on the run. <laughs> I imagine Aniston spends most of her life running from ugly little trolls. Tori then spots a police car, but the dang cop is asleep and covered in jelly donut filling. She rams a nightstick into the leprechaun's eye, but luckily, the cop has a spare. An eye for an eye, my dear. In this case, Justice really is blind. Nathan blasts the little booger, and together, they find a four-leaf clover. You found one. I told you. I told you! Forget the leprechaun, it's time to hit up a casino! That's not until part three. Look out, Vegas! I'm taking over! <laughs> when the leprechaun attacks Alex, Ozzy reveals the location of the last gold coin. I swallowed it! It's in my stomach! Then it's your belly I want! He's gonna blow so many raspberries on his belly! Before the leprechaun can kill Ozzy, Alex takes the four-leaf clover, sticks it to a wad of gum, and shoots it into the leprechaun's mouth. This is how NBC fired Conan from The Tonight Show. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. <laughs> Originally, the line was, your luck just ran out, but they changed it to stick it to General Mills. As the leprechaun melts away, Nathan pushes him into the well and fills it with gasoline. Three guys that paint are getting one hell of a Yelp review. The film was meant to be more of a straight horror film, but Warwick Davis thankfully injected humor into the role. Reshoots also added more gore to appeal to an older audience. It was the first film produced in-house by Trimark Pictures for $1 million and grossed $8.6 Reviews on release were negative and focused on the film's acting, humor, and directing, all of which were criticized. It has also been called Aniston's Worst Film. I'd rather watch this than just go with it. While not the smartest characters, the four of them do have chemistry together, and enough cannot be said about Warwick Davis. The only reason this movie and franchise worked it's because of Warwick Davis. He played this part to perfection and elevated this silly premise. He literally oozes charisma. <laughs> Writer-director Mark Jones started working with Scooby-Doo, and this is a great gateway movie to get kids into horror. Some of my earliest memories include Freddy, Chucky, and the Leprechaun. That explains a lot. Despite poor reviews, Leprechaun launched a franchise totaling eight movies, most of which have been direct-to-video. There are the six movies starring Warwick Davis. Then in 2014, the WWE produced a reboot titled Leprechaun Origins, which I reviewed and repressed years ago. gonna pee on you! Okay, here I go. 
every St. Patrick's Day needs a golden shower. In 2018, the director of The Void and Psycho Goreman, Stephen Kostansky, made Leprechaun Returns, a direct sequel to the first, featuring a returning Ozzy. Warwick is still missed, but Lyndon Porco did a decent job as the new Leprechaun. Almost 30 years later, Leprechaun has become a cult classic and a yearly tradition, often being broadcast on St. Patrick's Day. He may be 600 years old, but he never gets old. To me. Hey Andy, check your pocket. A gold coin. Now for the past two years, what have you wished for? A PS5? Go ahead. Wish for it. I... I wish I had a PS5? Ta-da! Kiss my blarney stone, evil! Where'd you find one? I got it off a wee person. You kidnapped a leprechaun? No, I stole it from a kid leaving Target. This has been Andy, the Maniacal Cinephile. Thanks for liking and subscribing. What? Here? We'll see you next time.